A new video has surfaced showing an Indigenous woman being punched and knocked unconscious at a northern Manitoba RCMP detachment. It is again raising questions about the role of community safety officers. In January 2018, 19-year-old Janesta Garson was out drinking when two community safety officers picked her up and took her to the local RCMP detachment in Thompson. They asked her to strip down to one layer of clothing before placing her in a cell for the night. But when Garson tossed her belt towards one of the men, he punched her in the face and knocked her unconscious. Instead of investigating the community safety officer's actions, RCMP charged Garson with assault. The officers dragged Garson into a jail cell and left her on her back while she was barely conscious. She was eventually taken to hospital by paramedics. Unlike police, community safety officers do not fall under the jurisdiction of the Independent Investigation Unit of Manitoba. So if there are allegations against them, the RCMP would be responsible for looking into them. There's no sound on the video, but Janesta Garson's lawyer says it speaks for itself. After detaining the 19-year-old on suspicion of public intoxication, two community safety officers and an RCMP officer told her to remove a layer of clothing. Then this. She threw her belt, was punched unconscious, had an officer strip off her pants, had her limp body rolled over, and then was dragged down a corridor to a cell, where she was pushed some more, then left alone. Garson's lawyer says his client wouldn't have been treated this way if she wasn't Indigenous.
Eventually, Garson was taken to hospital. Rohit Gupta says she faced assault charges, later dropped. She says she was detained, humiliated, and mistreated simply because she's Indigenous. Community safety officers don't fall under Manitoba's police watchdog. It's up to the RCMP to look into any allegations against them. In this case, they didn't. Manitoba RCMP wouldn't comment on this case, but said officers are allowed to use force if they feel threatened and often face unpredictable situations. Only the individual that's using force or is uh, potentially being a threat knows what's going to happen. And um, the police officer is only reacting to um, the situation at hand.
Janesta is one person um, out of which is undeniably hundreds of people that deal with abuses uh, perpetuated on them by the RCMP in Northern Manitoba. What turns out to be a routine process that's employed in Northern Manitoba resulted in Ms. Garson sustaining injuries um, at the hands of RCMP and community safety officers. Peace officers have a special provision under the criminal code. It's this expert says the use of force has to be relative to the threat and says this case should be investigated. My first reaction was that the degree of force seemed unnecessary. Garson is now suing the community safety officers, the RCMP, and the city of Thompson for discrimination, excessive use of force, and unlawful imprisonment. The RCMP and the city have denied those allegations.